the earth. As you close your physical eyes, begin to surrender your body fully to gravity. Release all the tension from your forehead and from between your brows. Your jaw is loose, tongue is slack. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Your chest and core are soft. Hips are grounded and open. Your arms and legs are splayed out, completely at ease. Take a moment to clear your mind, arriving at darkness. Now, as you open your mind's eye, you find yourself, oh, still in darkness. You're buried deep in the earth, but breathing is no issue, as if you were a fish underwater. You begin to swim upwards through it, and the soil parts easily between your fingers. This action should feel laborious, but it isn't. It's surprisingly effortless. You realize that's because you're actually very strong. Any fear you had of being so deep underground instantly fades. You keep swimming upward through the earth, and then you notice a change. The floral scent hits you first, and then suddenly your fingers reach a different texture, waxy and soft. The soil has ended and you're making your way up through flowers, layers and layers of flowers. They pleasantly tickle your body on your ascent, cleaning off all the dirt and bathing you in their lovely fragrance. You take a deep inhalation in appreciation and exhale out through the mouth. The light is filtering through now and finally your hand breaks free. Your head is next and you look up. You're in a shallow grave and way above, there are bushy tree branches swaying gently in the breeze. The air is cool against your bare skin. There are plenty of thick roots protruding from the sides of this pit and you nimbly make your way up and over the edge. At one end of the hole, you notice a giant and intricate mandala it is made of twigs, vines, and flowers. Its geometry is complex and beautiful. At its center sits a large yellow lotus flower. As you approach it, you notice it is full of sweet nectar. It is an offering. You bend over and scoop it up with both hands. Cradling the flower up to your mouth, you tilt your head back and shoot the nectar down like a shot. Immediately, you feel warmth and newfound energy radiate through your body. You are glowing from the inside out. You look back to your hole and you realize that all the flowers are lotus flowers, yellow and white and luminous. You notice other holes, each with their own uniquely designed mandalas resting at their heads. This is no graveyard. This is a nursery. Ah, you were just birthed not buried. You hear a stream close by and begin making your way towards it. As you walk around the other cradles, you notice that all the lotus flowers are empty. You must have been a late bloomer, but that doesn't bother you. Nature does not hurry. Before you even reach the stream, you hear music playing off in the distance. The sound is ethereal and it draws you in. As you walk beside the stream towards it, you look up to the open sky. There is not one, but three sister suns. From your flattened perspective, these stars appear close to each other. Ahead, you see that the stream opens up into a large lake. The music is growing in volume and you begin running, excited. You draw in a big breath as you reach the lake shoreline and let it out evenly. The lake is completely covered in those yellow and white lotus flowers. They contrast beautifully against their green foliage. It is breathtakingly serene to behold. To your right and down the curving shoreline, you locate the source of the music and you see movement. You begin to make your way there. As you get closer, you see all the other newborns from your nursery. Some are dancing, while others are in conversation, and others still are simply holding each other in embrace. All of them, just like you, are glowing, beautiful, 
and genderless. You can tell from the color of their auras that they are all old souls. It dawns on you that you know a lot. You were birthed from an intelligent planet and it fed you a wealth of knowledge while you were germinating deep in its earthy womb. This world loves its children unconditionally. Imbued with the gift of knowledge, its children in return love and honor their mother back. It is a perfectly balanced symbiotic relationship. The newborns notice your presence as you enter their space and you are greeted warmly. The music stops and they all swarm you, engulfing you in an epic group hug. One of them cradles your face and plants a firm kiss with soft lips on your forehead. Everyone is smiling. A weight you didn't even realize you had lifts from your heart. You are at complete peace now that you are reunited with your soul pod. The sister sons are all beginning to set together. And as a group, you head towards the water. You're holding hands with the two closest to you. You don't stop at the edge, but continue into the lake. The lotus flowers, too, begin to make their descent back into the mud below. Without the mud, there would be no lotus after all. Breathing is easy underwater, too, and there is no fear in your heart, only joy. This is where you all sleep. The mud protects you. Tomorrow morning, and every morning until the strong body perishes, you'll all bloom together. Slowly, begin to tune into your physical body. Draw a little more awareness to your breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Start rolling out your wrists and your ankles. On your next inhalation, extend your arms up overhead, maybe hooking a wrist. Take a full body stretch like you're just waking up. Alternate between flexing the heels and pointing the toes. On your next exhalation, curl into a ball. Give yourself a little hug and rock side to side if that feels good. Slowly, drop to whichever side is calling to you. Using your arm as a cushion, bring your knees in as close as feels good, flexing the backside open. Take several deep and even mindful breaths into your heart. And from here, it's your choice. You can rock up or stay down relaxed. Thank you for your time and participation. Peace and love.